That's oh, going to do geez. it for Pick'em. But before Ugh. we get out of here, our new segment that I keep forgetting about, it's time to know that only cowards bet the under. That's fucking A right there, Ty Bob. Only cowards take the under. How is it going, everybody? So I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the bets that I like this weekend. Uh, leading it off, we're going to go Bucks. Uh, that spread of what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I lost Holy it. Holy cow. I had, to, uh, had to, I had the formula, but I lost it. They're going to cover six and a half. They're going to cover that six and a half. And, and, and again, this isn't how I think. This is how the money thinks. All right. This is, this is what's going to win you money. So bucks minus the six and a half. And then the Packers who are favorites on the road against the Tennessee Titans, not the Houston Texans, but the Tennessee Titans, they are the two point, two point, uh, Dogs, oh, no, they are the checked. underdog. My bad, my bad. So I messed up. I got the Titans name right, but I got the line wrong. The Packers are two uh, two point underdogs, and so they are going to um, they're going to cover as well. So take that in a money or not a money line, technically a a spread uh, parlay. That's about minus one twenty, uh, depending on where you can get it at. Uh, also, I do kind of like a teaser there, maybe like a few point teaser here there for each team. I'm I'm not afraid of that as well. Um, and then my kind of my, my, um, anytime touchdown parlay is, is interesting this week. I got Stefan Diggs because he's playing against his old team, one of his old teams. And then you got Rashid Shahid. He's going to find the end zone this weekend. Okay. And then Michael Pittman jr. Of the Colts is going to find the end zone as well. Again, Anthony Richardson, he does kind of spin the ball well at home. And um, I think I think he probably throws a bomb to to Michael Pittman Jr. So that is my anytime touchdown parlay of the week. That is uh, plus twenty two sixty six. So that's a pretty good payout there. Uh, you're looking at ten dollars for about what two hundred and thirty bucks. So if that one hits, you're welcome. Mind you, I ride with all of these as well. So my money that is not given to me by anything because we do not do free shout outs on this program. My hard earned money is going into this as well. <laughs> so I want these to win just like everybody else. And finally, I have a long shot bet of the week. And if it hits, it's well, it's a long shot because it's probably not going to happen. And the touchdown parlay, which is longer odds is probably going to happen. So for plus 1872, I know this doesn't make sense, but trust me, it does because I have the bears Panthers and the giants money line in a parlay. (laughs) Again, depending on where you can get it, bears, Panthers, giants, money line parlay. I got it at plus 1872. It's not going to happen. They're not going to win. But if it does, but if it does, $10 Ten dollars gets you about 187, 100, 190 bucks um with that with that 10 back. So that is my only cowards pick the under segment. Remember, kids, don't take the under. You're not a coward. Give this guy 60 seconds to do a YouTube short and he'll turn it into Takes a short two format video. Yeah, I know. God. <laughs> Uh, it happens. I'm sorry. Hey, you let me rant. Hey, hey. You let me rant. Hey. What, you know my name. I'm Tommy Rants. You, you let me rant. I'm going to rant. <laughs> oh, man. You're getting three YouTube shorts out with those four <laughs> shorts. <laughs> Hitting the algo coming right at you. When I uh, when I got through the first one, I was like, this is going to be three. This is going to be three. <laughs> so then I just embraced it and I went. I leaned into it completely. I just went this with guy. it. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, listen, that's going to do it for NFL Week 3 preview show. Make sure to join us back next week as we cover all the happenings that go on during this week. Uh, uh, yeah, it's it seems it's going to be shaping up for a really good week. I'm excited for all of these games. There's some large spreads towards the end, but two Monday night football games. What else could you ask for? And until next time, go Chiefs. Go Chiefs. Smack.